الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله الناصح الامين اللهم صل على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين ومن تمسك بسنته الى يوم الدين ثم اما بعد يا عباد الله don't render your physical forms as graves before you have died Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he tells us in his noble book wadhkur rabbak and remember your lord remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dhikr is important for every single individual who seeks to be alive truly in this world and the next Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says wadhkur rabbaka fi nafsik and remember your lord in yourselves tadarru'a wa khifa remember your lord to yourselves humbly and out of fear and out of fear min duni jahri min al-qawl without articulating a statement meaning without having a loud statement to remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to yourselves without making it loud meaning as the ulama they, they explain this means that you mention allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a voice that only you can hear something that is like a whisper that you remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying the likes of subhanallah walhamdulillah la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar that you constantly remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala humbly and out of fear bil ghuduwi wal asal in the mornings and in the afternoons in the morning times and in the afternoons this is an indication for us to utilize those adhkar those supplications that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us that we memorize that we memorize them and we utilize them on a daily basis after fajr and after asr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he goes on to say wa la takum min al-ghafilin and do not be from those who are heedless so if we want to escape from being of those who are heedless then we have to make it our business to memorize the adhkar of the morning and of the evening we have to make it our business to understand their meanings we have to make it our business to utilize them daily to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these things are of extreme importance to us Allah ta'ala he tells us to do this so that we do not be from those who are unmindful that we are not of those who are heedless this is incumbent ya subhanallah how the shaytan he has tricked us into doing things which are not in our best interest how the shaytan has tricked us into doing things that do not benefit us we waste our time doing things that do not benefit us that distract us from those things that will benefit us from remembering allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya ibadullah being in a state of ghafla the ulama they mention the fadilat al-shaykh Sheikh Abdul Abdul Razak bin Sheikh Abdul Muhsin and Abbad al-Badr hafizhum Allah ta'ala he mentions he says wal murad bi qawlihi ta'ala and what is intended by Allah ta'ala's statement wala takum min al-ghafilin and do not be from those who are heedless of the remembrance of Allah do not be from those who are heedless a min alladheena nasu Allah fa ansahum anfusahum don't be from those who have forgotten Allah and subsequently in reality have forgotten themselves they don't remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so who hurts from that who to detriment is that too it's to the detriment of the slave himself when you forget Allah you forget yourself you forget to benefit yourself because in remembering Allah 
you benefit. Allah doesn't need for you to remember him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need your tasbih. Allah ta'ala doesn't need your tahmeed. Allah ta'ala doesn't need that you supplicate to him. You need it. So when you forget to supplicate to Allah, when you forget to beg Allah, when you forget to remember Allah, then you forget to benefit yourself. Ya subhanallah. It is incumbent that we implement the deen of al-Islam if we truly want to benefit. How many people say they want to go to heaven? How many people say they want to go to heaven? But then they don't do the actions of the people of heaven. Then they don't do the actions of the people of Jannah. So many people say they want to go to Jannah, but they walk through this life treading the path of the people of hell. But they're saying the whole time, but I want to go to Jannah. They're saying the whole time, when I meet Allah, I want to benefit. But then day in and day out, they are negligent of remembering Allah. They are negligent of doing their obligations. They are persistent and in falling into the prohibitions. And then they say the whole time, but yeah, but I want to go to Jannah. I really want good for myself. I want good for myself, but yet I do things to destroy myself constantly. Does that sound like someone who really wants good for themselves? Well, al Musa'an, the Shaykh he mentions, he says, these individuals in reality, they have forgotten themselves. For in Nahum, verily these individuals, hurimu khayra dunya wal akhirah. So these individuals, they have prevented themselves from khayrai, from the two benefits of what? Of the dunya and the akhirah, of the two goods. They have prevented themselves from the two things that are good, from the source of good in this world and in the hereafter. By doing what? By forgetting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can anyone be successful when they have forgotten Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He says, And they have turned their backs on everything that will be the source of their happiness and success in remembering him and from submitting themselves to him and by, 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 by not submitting themselves, but not presenting themselves in servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the reality of it is, is that we're all slaves. We're either going to be a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or we're going to be a slave to the dunya. But no matter how you look at it, you're going to be a slave to something. The one who is wise, the abd, who is wise, who is intelligent, and he realizes that what? He has to be a slave to Allah. He has to be Abdullah. He has to be the slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because in being a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it emancipates you from the slavery of everything else. It emancipates you from the slavery of the creation when you subject yourself and make yourself a slave to the Creator. So if we truly want to benefit our happiness, it lies in being slaves unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is for our own benefit. The Shaykh he mentions, and I want you to really understand this and understand this well because this is the reality. The Shaykh he says, وَالْغَفْلَ دَاءٌ خَطِيرٌ And heedlessness, then this is an extremely dangerous disease. Heedlessness, it is a da'un, it's a disease that is tremendously dangerous. Dangerous diseases, we try to avoid them, right? Dangerous diseases, we try to avoid them. No one puts themselves in a situation where they can catch a disease. No one puts themselves in a situation where they can catch hepatitis. They're mindful. They don't want to catch hepatitis. No one puts themselves in a situation where they can catch AIDS. They're mindful. They don't want AIDS. No one puts themselves in a situation where they could get cancer. I mean, those who are wise and intelligent, those who truly have concern for themselves. If an individual knows that smoking cigarettes would, could lead to cancer, that with and within itself is enough of a motivation. Well, I don't want to smoke a cigarette because I don't want cancer. I don't want to die from cancer because I smoked a cigarette. Those who are concerned about themselves, that is. 
They don't put themselves in situations. They don't live a risque life that could lead to them catching a disease. We're wearing masks right now, correct? Why? Because so nobody want COVID. You have time in your life for COVID right now? You got time for COVID? Nobody got time for COVID. So we put on the mask, huh? Because we don't want to catch COVID. Being heedless about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is worse than COVID. It's more deadly because it is that which will take you out while you're still walking around. هذا أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولجميع المسلمين فاستغفروا فإنه هو الغفور الرحيم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد يا عباد الله heedlessness is worse than COVID no doubt I want you to listen to this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in his noble book, وَلَقَدَ ذَرَأْنَا لِجَهَنَّمْ Allah ta'ala, he says, and we have made for Jahannam. We have made for Jahannam, right? كَثِيرًا مِنَ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنسِ Many from jinn kind and mankind. Why? Due to the choices that the jinns have made, many of the, disbel- the disbelievers from the jinn, the choices that they have made, Allah Ta'ala already knows the choices that they were going to make, that, they, that, 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 that they're going to make. Now, many of the human beings, why? Because of the choices that they have made. Allah Ta'ala already knows the disbelievers from the human beings, what choices that they're going to make. They have chosen disbelief. They didn't want belief. In any event, there are many from the jinn and the human beings who are the people of the hellfire. They're going to hell. Their ultimate destination is hell. Listen to their description. Allah Ta'ala, he says, لَهُمْ قُلُوبٌ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ بِهَا They have hearts that they don't understand with them. They have hearts that they don't understand. وَلَهُمْ أَعْيُنٌ لَا يُبُصِّرُونَ بِهَا and they have eyes, but they don't see. They have eyes, but they can't see it. 2020 vision, they can't see it. Wallahum Adanun La Yasmaun Abiha. And they have ears, but they can't hear. They have ears, but they can't hear. They don't understand the guidance. Kurubun, they have hearts. La Yaf Kahun Abiha. They have hearts, but their hearts don't understand the guidance. They have eyes, but their eyes, they can't see the guidance. They have ears, but their ears, they can't hear the guidance. Allah Ta'ala, he says, He said, these individuals, they're like animals. No, on the contrary, they are worse. They're worse than animals. They're worse than animals. They're worse than that donkey. They're worse than that mule. They're worse than that elephant. They're worse than that giraffe. They're worse than that rhinoceros. So on and so forth. Why? Because the animals, they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The birds remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who are these individuals who are worse than the animals? Allah ta'ala, he says, These are those who are heedless. These are those who are heedless of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are those who they do not remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want to be better than the animals, then you have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when you don't remember Allah, the animals are better than you because the animals remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That cow, that cow remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That bird, that bird remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your cute little cat walking around the house, it remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ibadullah. A poet, he mentioned, he said, فَنِسْيَانُ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ مَوْتُ قُلُوبِهِمْ He said that to forget, to remember Allah 
forgetting the remembrance of Allah, then it is death to their hearts. وَأَجَسَامُهُمْ قَبْلَ الْقُبُورِ قُبُورُ And their bodies, their bodies are a grave. Their bodies, they match the grave before they're actually placed inside the grave. When you, when you forget Allah, you don't remember Allah, then your body is nothing more than a grave. It's a grave walking around the earth. It's a grave walking around the earth, housing what? A dead individual. Housing a dead individual before that actual grave that is housing the, your dead soul gets put inside of the ground itself. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, مَثْلُ الَّذِي يَذْكُرُ رَبَّهُ وَالَّذِي لَا يَذْكُرُوهُ مَثْلُ الْحَيِّ وَالْمَيِّتِ the Prophet وسلم, he said that the similitude of the one who remembers his Lord and the one who does not remember him is the similitude of the living and the dead. Those who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these are the ones who are alive. Those who do not remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they are dead men and women walking. Who are they? Those who don't remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers. I say this from the bottom of my heart. We have to strive. We have to strive and work hard and run away from heedlessness. Heedlessness has become very fashionable in this time and that's exactly what the shaitan he wants from you. It is sad that individuals will come to the houses of Allah that have been erected to remember Allah and even inside the house of Allah don't remember Allah. I really want you to pay attention to this. How are we raising our children when we bring them to the masjid and instead of educating them and teaching them how to properly behave in the masjid, we'll bring a tablet along so they can watch YouTube in the corner in the masjid. Are you, are you kidding me? This is what you're teaching your child? This is how you want your child to grow up? That he comes to the masjid and play on his phone? He comes to the masjid and he watch TikTok? If he's not going to remember Allah in the masjid, where is he going to remember Allah at? Is this what we're doing? So I say this from the bottom of my heart. We have to realize how dangerous it is to be of those who are heedless of the remembrance of Allah. When we understand how deadly this disease is, this is not something we want to push along to our children. We don't want to rear our children upon this. How can they ever be successful if, they, if we're just raising them to be dead people walking? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, because of course, I don't want anyone to understand then I'm saying, when you come to the masjid, make sure you remember Allah. But then after that, it's okay, you can forget. No, no, when you're in the masjid, of course, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you're not in the masjid, of course, you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you're in your house, of course, you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the house of Allah, the masjid, right? Correct. The earth is the earth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This whole creation. Belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you want another planet and another galaxy, it all belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu he said, مَثَلُ الْبَيْتِ الَّذِي يُذْكَرُ اللَّهِ فِيهِ وَبَيْتِ الَّذِي لَا يُذْكَرُ اللَّهِ فِيهِ مَثَلُ الْحَيِّ وَالْمَيِّتِ that the similitude of the house where Allah is remembered therein and the similitude of the house where Allah is not remembered therein is like the similitude of the living and the dead. So unfortunately, the aforementioned example of children coming to the masjid and having to be given tablets to entertain them is because they come from a dead house. It's because they come from a dead house and they're being reared to be dead people walking. 
Okay, Mustafa.